This video presents a case of trabeclectomy with two releasable sutures. A subconjunctival mitomycin with lidocaine has been injected in the superior part of the conjunctiva and a 7 ovator suture as a traction suture to the superior part of the cornea. Then using a Hoskins and a Westcott scissor, a fornix based conjunctival preetomy is performed here. Cauterizing the vessels in the area that we are planning to create a scleral flap. Using a 22.5 blade or 15 degree blade to create a half thickness scale of flap. Making a person thesis at the temporal side. Teno nylon suture uh, for two release valves at the scare of flap. After pressing through the flap and their scare off, is inserted along the arm of our scara flap to the clear cornea so we will have a loop on the scara and then the second pass on the cornea to the sides and we will have another loop on the cornea that's the post operatively if we insert a needle under this cornea loop the corneal end will come out and then we can pull the suture out the same suture is applied at the other side of the flap. So the scleral arm to clear cornea which creates a scleral loop for us and then again another path through the cornea to create another loop on the cornea Using the same blade to create a window under the flap.
verdict for me. And now it's time to try the releasable suture. So the free end on the escara flap is tied to the escara loop. And the loop will stay on the escara flap. So if you pull the corneal end, the suture will come out. That's the thing that we do in the post-op period. Adjusting the other suture and the appropriate tension, installing this uh, balance salt solution in the anterior chamber and checking the flow through the flap. Loosening the suture to get more flow. Trimming the 10 o nylon sutures. The 10-ohm mattress suture is placed at the limbal side of the pre -tummy.
The two ten o nylon sutures are buried in the cornea. And the radial conjunctival uh, incision is closed with uh, Edo Archer suture. Traversal maneuver to form the blood and there's no leakage. Stilling some viscoelastic agent in the anterior chamber, tiny amount to prevent uh, hypotenuse related issues in the early post op period. This is the conclusion of surgery, thank you for watching the video.